things that I want to talk about today. Hey everyone, it's Aradna. Welcome to another edition of Off Tangent Thoughts. For those of you who are new, Off Tangent Thoughts is a meme created by Charby at Not Just Fiction. I will link the um, the explanation for Off Tangent Thoughts in the description. But basically, Off Tangent Thoughts is a collection of prompts, but around books or bookish things. July's first prompt is the thoughts you have when you participate in a readathon or a read along. And because I never seem to keep to the prompts generally, I mean I keep to the to the theme of the prompt, even if it's not exactly the prompt. Um, I thought I would just talk about why I really fail at readathons. I don't participate in them much because I know I'm going to fail in them. The prompts are always amazing. Like the, I think the Iron Athon is going on. I think that's what it's called. There's a Disney Athon, and last weekend on the sixth and seventh of July, there was an Indian Lit Readathon, which I signed up for. I knew I wasn't going to finish any of the prompts, but I did sign up for the readathon because it was just, it was you know, celebrating Indian and Indian origin authors, and it was just, well, it spoke to me, right? But I did what I expected to do. Um, I didn't finish any books because I cannot read so much during readathons. Readathons and I don't really get along as much as I want us to. I love the idea of them. I love the idea of a specific set of time where you can read books surrounding maybe a specific genre or specific prompts but usually the time frame is too short for me personally because I cannot finish many books within a specific time frame. I take my time with books because my reading time is limited and honestly when it comes to readathons and comes to dates I need to read books by, yeah, then I just don't want to read those books. Or I do want to read those books, but I can't. I can't focus. I can't. And then I just end up getting stressed and anxious and I just don't read at all. So <laughs> despite all of that, every time I see a readathon, announced, I go, oh, maybe this time, and every time I talk myself out of it because I know I won't. Except for when it came to the Indian Readathon, I told myself I wasn't going to stress myself out. All I wanted to do within those two days was start a book that had been on my shelf for a very long time, and I did. I started it. Have I completed it? No, I'm going to take my time with it. And then I thought to myself, hey, what I did earlier this year with the only other readathon I have signed up for is to tell the organizer and myself that I'm going to see if I can complete those prompts within the span of the year. Give myself the time and actually try and fill up some few, a few prompts. The other readathon I'm talking about is Olivia at Olivia's Catastrophes readathon that she held in February. Now, that readathon had seven prompts. The Indian Lit readathon had 12 prompts. It is currently the middle of July, and I thought, why not take this opportunity to go off tangent on an off tangent thoughts and see how I've been doing for these readathon prompts? Yes, I know the Indian Lit readathon was only last weekend, but I am going to be taking books that I have read earlier in the year as well for prompts. Now, for the Indian Lit Readathon, I am going to try and put the bingo card. The bingo card. Okay. So, Indian Lit Readathon had 12 prompts. Now, 
I highly doubt I have done more than two prompts and I might take one book to cancel out a few of the prompts because I think I've only read two books by Indian authors so far this year. Wait, let me check Goodreads. So far this year I have read a total of one book by an Indian author. I'm reading because I bet, you know. Okay, for the Indian Lit Readathon. Bear with me. Let's cancel off if Empire of Sand fills any of these prompts. I think they fills at least two prompts. So, Arjuna, a book with the chosen one trope. Technically, I do not think Empire of Sand fills this, so that's a no. Drit Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra, a book featuring a character with a disability. I don't think anyone in Empire of Sand is disabled, so that's a no. Ikalavya, a book with the caste system, it's Empire of Sand does have some sort of caste system, but it's not the one, well, it's not the Indian caste system exactly, so I'm not going to take it as this prompt. That will probably be my next read, the current, my current read, The Palace of Illusions, so we'll leave that as a note for now. Garna, a book with 500 or less ratings on Goodreads. Empire of Sand has more ratings than 500. I'm pretty sure. Krishna, a book based on mythology. My current read is based on mythology, so Empire of Sand is an all. Shikhandi, a book with a trans character. I don't think I don't think The Palace of Illusions has a trans character, and Empire of Sand does not have a trans character. That's also a no. So far, exactly what I expected. Vyasa, a book written in verse for a poetry book. I kind of want to reread Fulkari just to fulfill this prompt, so I might do that later this year. There's also another poetry book coming out by an Indian author, by a Sikh author that I'm looking forward to. I might pre-order that now. Yudhishthira, a book with social justice themes. I don't think so. don't think that fits. Indra Prashta, a book set in a palace about royalty. Yes! My current read. I mean, technically Empire of Sand is about an empire, so I don't know if it counts with the royalty factor, so I'm not taking it, but my current read set, up, set around royalty, around palaces. It is called The Palace of Illusions. So this is a future one I can check off. Kurukshetra, a book about a power struggle. Empire of Sand, definitely, finally, yes. Also the Palace of Illusions, but Empire of Sand, so this is yes. Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita. Is it Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavad Gita? I actually don't know. A self-help or philosophical book. I highly doubt I'm going to read one of these, so. Chakra Vya, a book with which promises plot twists. Um, Empire of Sand had plot twists, right? Yeah. So, yeah, sure, 12. I mean, it hasn't come out yet, but Rain of Ash, hopefully, I guess this, we'll get my hands on that this year. Adi Barba, the first book in a series. Empire of Sand is technically not a series, so I'm not going to take that. I mean, Reign of Ash is a companion novel, not a sequel, so. Aranya Parva, a book with trees on the cover. I don't remember if The Palace of Illusion has trees on the cover, I will check. But I don't think so. Vishma Parva, a book about family dynamics, The Palace of Illusions. Sri Parva, a book with feminist themes, The Palace of Illusions, and Empire of, uh, Empire of Sand. I am taking that, okay? I am taking Empire of Sand. So far, I have two prompts crossed off. 
And with the Palace of Illusions, once I am done, hopefully I will be done by the end of the month, that will be a few more. And then, you know, I really do need to read more books by Indian authors. Get my hands on more of them, hopefully soon. Now, for Olivia's readathon, I think I did better. I'm not sure which books exactly could fill the prompts, but out of the seven prompts, I think I've done at least three. So, the first prompt is read your oldest unread book. Currently, on the shelves behind me, my oldest unread book is Anathem. I'm not reading it that yet, but I plan to read that this year. So, read a second prompt, read a 400 plus tome. I've done this. I have definitely done this. I've done a 500 odd page book this year too. So, yes, this is a yes. Number three, a cover by. Cover by. Empire of Sand wasn't exactly a cover by. Um, okay, technically it wasn't a buy, but I did ask Pansing to send me a pop full of stars because I really loved the cover. So, can I take that? I'm gonna take that. So that's the second prompt checked off. Fourth book, so old you don't know where it's from. I don't think I have a book that I don't know where it's from. Or at least I have a general idea of where it's from, like the Palace of Illusions. I am pretty sure it is from one of my uncles. I don't remember when I got it. So I'll leave that blank for now. Number five, an author you know and love. I read Es Kismet with Habit this year, and it's not a novel, but it is a story, and it's by Sandhya Menon, who I absolutely adore. So yes. Number six, a new to you author. Most of the authors I've read this so far this year have been new to me. So I'm gonna put Somaya Dowd down for this. Mirage was amazing. So was Empire of Sand. So was Children of Blood and Bone. <laughs> And number seven, a hyped book, Children of Blood and Bone, anybody? Which I absolutely adored, so it was well hyped. And that is one, two, three, four, five. Five out of seven prompts, done. Huh. So for me, the thing is, I love the idea of readathons and read-alongs. I think the only one I've successfully participated in, not a readathon, but a read-along, was the Descendant of the, the Crane read-along at the beginning of the year when we got, the street team got e-arcs of the book and wanted to re set up, what you call it, goalposts <laughs> to read up, read it, and I sped through the book and I was done way before the deadline was. Pretty much the only successful read-along I've taken, up, taken part in. I love the idea of them, read-a-thons and read-alongs, but once I sign up for one, I get really anxious and stressed about meeting the deadlines and the dates, and I know it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be fun, but that's just what happens, and then I never end up reading, I never end up filling the prompts, I never end up participating in any of the discussions that happen. So I try not to sign up for them. What I am enjoying though, what I do like to do is take those prompts and instead of filling them within this time frame of the readathon, taking a few months, taking a year, see how many of those prompts I can fill. Like I'm doing for the Indian Lit readathon and Olivia's readathon, they have been very fun this way, and I'm thinking about doing the same for the Disney a thon, but I highly doubt it. Anyways, two read a thons this year failed both of them for the time frame, but doing decently at filling those prompts 
over the course of the year. Maybe that's something I'll try and do. Maybe that's something I'll try to organize. A month long readathon, five month long readathon, half a year. For those of us who cannot participate in shorter readathons for whatever reason, time constraints, mental health issues, or just plain, I don't want to do binge read in two or three days because, well, those, for what I know, those two to three days, the dates don't work for me or whatever. Would anybody be interested in that? A long readathon. It would have more prompts, maybe, or another bingo card because I liked the idea of the Indian Lit Readathon bingo card. If you think that would be fun, if you want to help me organize something, or if you know a readathon that is like that, that takes place over a longer span of time, let me know because I would love to take part in something like that. What are your thoughts on readathons? Which readathons are your favorites? Also, let me know. Maybe next year I will participate in more or try to at least. I definitely have been enjoying seeing people's TBRs for readathons, so there's that. I stay very on brand with being off tangent, off tangent. But yeah, I'm kind of a readathon fail. I'm I wouldn't say I'm proud of it, but I'm not disappointed with myself either. Which is a good thing, I think. Until next time, 